I was making uh, watercolours and I wanted to find a way to uh, put the same sort of effect of a watercolour onto a canvas. And I tried it with a canvas that had already been primed and this didn't work at all. And when I tried it on um, a raw cotton duck with a lot of water, it has a lovely, uh, almost, almost watercolour effect uh, where it spreads and merges and you can play with it a lot. This is acrylic. Um, and what I've done here is I've, I've kept a certain amount of the area clean so that it's um, con almost controlled like the comic book has its own rigid structure. I try and keep some sort of structure so that I can play within that grid. Uh, and it allows me some rules to experiment within. Uh, this one, you can see there's a nice little area. This is an accident. I don't know how to do it or how to do it again. This bit here where this lovely uh, pattern happens. I worked over this painting quite a few times because it, it also said text on here and it was just, oh, yeah. it wasn't working. Uh, mm. It wasn't recognisable like the original image. So I, I took it off and I played with this so many times. Um, you use lots of water or something? Loads of water. And the trouble is when you use so much water, um, it has to be done very, very quickly. Uh, and when you go over it and over it, it seems to lose that instant, instant effect. Here's another one. This is from The X-Files. The truth is out there. 